For extreme weather around the world, MarkFoganWeather.com is the place to be. Thanks for taking on to the 20th edition of the Global Weather and Climate Report. There is a lot of things going on around the world at this moment in time. Hurricane Nicole made landfall in Florida uh, while we've had a blizzard ongoing across the northern plains and the northern Rocky Mountain states of the United States. Record-breaking warmth here in the British Isles, Denmark. Even northern portions of Norway has seen record warmth in recent days. I will endeavour to show you that this is not completely out of the ordinary. We have seen warm temperatures in November before. This is a channel that I try to remain as unbiased as possible when it comes to both climate change on both sides of the argument, whether uh, you're a believer or a denier like myself. Um, yeah, we will uh, certainly uh, try to, and I've got a, a low battery, as you can see here, so I'm going to try and keep this as short as possible. Um, but yeah, a lot of things going on at the moment um, around the world. We have got, of course, a, a situation across the UK where we've got incredibly strong winds, uh, and it's all it's not to do with a deep area of low pressure that's uh, close to the UK. In fact, what we've got is, of course, a very strong area of high pressure parked over the European continent. We've got a frontal system that is to just to the northwest of the UK. The Outer Hebrides and Sky is sitting right underneath that boundary and we are seeing upwards of 260 millimeters of rain that has fallen in the last 36 hours in parts of Sky. We've also seen flooding conditions across parts of Harris and Lewis as well. Winds in excess of 110 miles per hour over the West Highland Mountains. And of course, we've also seen sunshine and temperatures close to 20 Celsius this afternoon. But the core of strongest winds over the West Highlands, as you can see here, Outer Hebrides has been getting battered also. And the uh, wind gusts in excess of 111 on top of Cairngorm, Anak Moor 109, even low level sites, Charter Hall 62 and Glasgow Bishopton 61. Widespread 30, 40 mile per hour wind gusts uh, has been experienced throughout the British Isles over the course of today. And this is the current satellite image, by the way, as the sun now sets, you can see the boundary here, and it's the pressure gradient between low pressure over the Atlantic and high pressure over Europe that has squeezed the pressure field and increased those winds um, along it here. And we're seeing the waves um, being created within the atmosphere, these ripples as the wind blows over top of the mountains of the British Isles here. But this is the current setup here. It's almost like an atmospheric river where we're plugging energy from all the way back to southeastern portions of the United States. There's Nicole there, now well inland over Georgia. But you can see this trail of uh, precipitation along this boundary. It's almost like an atmospheric river that has been battering the northwest of Scotland in the last 36 to 48 hours, and we've seen in excess of six inches to eight inches of rain falling here. But uh, this is the current setup here, uh, two meter temperature and only wise, record warmth all the way from uh, parts of, of Michigan to the east coast up into southeastern Canada, where we're seeing record cold as well as heavy snowfall in the northwest of the United States. Very warm, as you can see here, British Isles all the way across the continent of both Europe and Asia. We're seeing record mid-30s in parts of China, as you can see here. And uh, the global average is sitting at uh, 0.3 above normal. Uh, Northern Hemisphere, one above uh, we're seeing the Southern Hemisphere a half a degree below normal, Arctic one above, the Antarctic three below, and the tropics sitting close to average. Looking at the rainfall um, at Altdurg House on Sky, upwards of 262 millimetres of rain has fallen in the last 36 to 48 hours in this region, while further east, even here in Edmonton, we've seen plenty of um, of sunshine through the course of this afternoon. Devastating scenes in Daytona Beach in Florida, as you can see here, as houses get washed into the sea after the passage of Hurricane 
the coal. So pretty remarkable stuff, as you can see here. Temperatures, by the way, uh, warm temperatures have not just been confined to the British Isles. 18.8 Celsius, flanks to winds crossing over the mountains and down sloping uh, the other end. We've seen 18.8 Celsius recorded in northern portions of Norway at midnight last night. Denmark, also a record-breaking warm night. This is the scenes coming out of Harris this afternoon. So while it was sunny here, you know, just 100 miles further east, uh, or should I say further west, we've seen water running down the streets and um, a, just a complete drench in there on the Isle of of, uh, of Harris here. This is the United States, so blizzard conditions in parts of North Dakota, as you can see here. Temperatures in Glasgow, Montana, by the way, minus 26 this morning. This was the scene at uh, Deerfield, Deerfield Beach Pier as the waves crash in here with Hurricane Nicole. So certainly plenty of things going on at this moment in time. Let's have a look at the current temperatures as of recording. They are now starting to come down slightly, but we've still got 18 degrees, as you can see, both at Kinloss and indeed Lossiemouth. I think temperatures here this afternoon was knocking on the door of 20 Celsius. And uh, can we get the maximum temperatures for today? Unfortunately, they have not been updated by Meteo Seal. But according to the BBC anyway, or should I say the Met Office actually, the uh, provisional warmest night on record for both Northern Ireland and Scotland was achieved last night for November anyway. Um, McGilligan getting a, 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 an overnight low of 14.5 and uh, Kinloss and Presswick both recording 14.6 Celsius uh, during last night. And many parts of actually uh, the north as well as the central belt uh, kept uh, temperatures above 15 degrees throughout the overnight period. So pretty remarkable stuff. But is these temperatures completely out of the ordinary? The answer is no. Because if you look back at history, every day um, through the month of November has seen temperatures into the high, high teens to low 20s. And of course, only back in 2015, 22.4 was recorded in Wales. And that was only, what, seven years ago. But if we play it slowly through this list, temperatures even mid to late November have been in the high teens to around 20 Celsius. Notice here the 17th of the month back in 97, we had a temperature of 20.7 in, in, uh, in Gwyneth. You can see here 20 degrees recorded on the 20th of the month in Wales, um, and even temperatures as high as 20 degrees recorded in the North Highlands at Lairg back on the, 20th, uh, the 23rd of the month and that is going back to 1906. So perspective is important. Overnight minimum temperature records have been achieved, but we've seen temperatures into the high teens and low 20s in November before. So it is not completely out of the ordinary here. Um, and you can see here the current setup here, according to the latest run of the GFS, we're starting to lose that uh, atmospheric river over the Northwest Highlands. And things are settling down here but what we are going to continue to see folks is that area of high pressure over the european continent trying to linger on we've also got um, plenty of, of areas of low pressure trying to move eastwards by the way at the very moment we have a setup here with a jet stream uh, you know uh, angled position from a southwest to northeasterly orientation winds and a jet, jet stream level have actually been blown over 200 miles per hour and of course with the uh, all levels of the of the, of the atmosphere um, lined up and stacked vertically we're almost essentially transferring some of that wind energy from from you know 20 to 30 even 40,000 feet down to the surface and all the ingredients are coming together for the perfect setup to to produce not only an atmospheric river set up over the Northwest Highlands, but we're seeing also, uh, you know, 100 mile per hour plus winds. We're also seeing sunshine. We're also seeing 19, 20 degrees as well. So a very interesting meteorological setup. And does this uh, incredible warmth dictate what goes on uh, the following winter? No, it doesn't. So that's another thing we need to watch that we don't assume, myself included, 
that all of a sudden this warm pattern is going to be representative of the upcoming winter season 